I recommend this card? No. I mean, it's decent. I wouldn't recommend it, you know. But then again, I wasn't responsible. You know, then again, like I didn't know any better. But there are so many other cards with no annual fee, you know, with with perks too. You know, that don't doesn't prey on people. Damn, I, I had a flashback. Um <laughs> Okay, let's talk about Credit One Bank's Platinum Card. Okay, so, <laughs> all right, now, I didn't particularly get this credit card for purposes of rebuilding credit, building credit. I got this card because it was offered to me. I got this card because I got a letter in the mail stating I was approved for this particular credit card. Now, at the time, I believe I got this card in like 2018. Now, again, I wasn't as, well, I wasn't where I am now as far as credit, especially being knowledgeable on the fact that credit is really important, you know? I was not hit to none of that during that time. During that time, I think I was just barely in by. So anyways, um, and I'm not gonna throw jabs, but we all know now, or at least you should know that certain credit card companies, if you're getting card letters or card offers in the mails from specific credit card companies, they target a specific type of person with a specific credit profile without me even, you know, I mean, I'm saying it, but I ain't really saying it, but y'all know what I mean. So anyways, um, I wasn't hip to any of that back then. So I took the offer. I accepted the card. Um, I believe my credit card limit at the time was $700 and my credit profile, credit profile, my credit score at the time was like, I want to say in the five range, maybe like 580 ish up in there, maybe, maybe six, but it was no, it wasn't high. It wasn't like high 600. It was like low six maybe high 500, like 580 plus at the time, but no more than 600 and I wasn't in the 20s, like 620 something, it wasn't that high. It was like, you know, whew. Um, but anyways, now the perks, pros of this card is unsecured, which is pretty cool being, you know, if you have bad credit, fair credit, you know, um, because typically you have to get a secure card um, now, it does report to all three bureaus, and you earn 1% um, back on certain purchases, gas, groceries, things like that. Now, the negatives, the cons, um, as far as credit limit increases, I mean, they give them. They do. I'm not going to lie and say that they don't. They do if you do right. Um, it's high interest credit card. Um, typically, people who get this card have bad credit or, you know, starting out, so um money you if you're not knowledgeable on the fact that you should be paying your credit card back in full you may get hit with interest fees and please don't f around and let this account close or go into collections or charge off with you still owing something oh my goodness <laughs> don't get me started um now there is an annual fee so and i believe the annual fee is like 39 dollars. so let's say your initial credit limit is 300 dollars, which is the minimum um for anyone who's approved it's the minimum um, they take that $39 out initially. So you're left with what, $261? $261 would be your available credit, you know? And it's like, really? You know, but I mean, and there are other cards. There are other cards out there, you know, that are bad credit, fair credit friendly that don't have an annual fee that will give you a decent credit limit, you know, if you're looking to rebuild build your profile, add, you know, another credit card without an annual fee, if I didn't say that, you know. Um, do I recommend this card? No. I mean, it's decent. Don't get me wrong. If you can't get approved for anything else and you got to start somewhere, then I suggest that you have a credit card. You know, I mean, if, if you can't get any other card and this is like the last resort, you know, you, get, you can get it, but I, I wouldn't recommend it, you know, but then again, I wasn't responsible, you know, then again, like I didn't know any better, but there are so many other cards with no annual fee, you know, with, with perks too, you know, that 
don't doesn't prey on people. Damn, I, I had a flashback. Um, but <sighs> mm, so no, I no, I don't recommend it. I only talked about this because somebody asked me about it in my comments on one of my other credit um, card videos. And I thought I'd make a video on it because, you know, I've had this particular card in the past um, and it eventually did charge off. But I will say this though, I sent them a goodwill letter and they did, you know, remove the account. I did have to do a pay for deletion. They sold like my debt to LVNV and I did end up doing a pay for deletion. I know this video ain't got nothing to do with that, but cause you don't get a credit card, you know, thinking that your account is gonna go into collect, like one day you won't be able to pay it. Nobody just goes out looking for debt. You know what I mean? Essentially that's kind of what I did even though this ain't about me right now. This is about, this is to the person who asked about this card. But um, no, I don't recommend it. But I mean, if you got to, this is like your only, I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do. We all start from somewhere, you know? And it's not like, and I never recommend nobody close a card, but I mean, at some point, you know, this wouldn't be like a card I would hold on to, especially because they have an annual fee. It's just like, when I've gotten to a point in my credit building, you know, um, process, then this car would have to go, deuces, you know, because there are other options. But then again, there are so many other, I would rather get a security card than this one, you know, one that will graduate, obviously. Um, but I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do. Even if you do currently have this card, there ain't nothing like, if you have no issue, like if you're making your payments and you're doing, this card ain't bothering you, it's not bugging you, even the, the annual fee, like, I ain't gonna talk smack about the card because had I used it like I was supposed to, it would have, you know, but I just, got this car, I was desperate for, I needed money, you know what I mean? And this came during a time when I needed it, you know what I mean? So, and it wasn't always bad, you know, with the card. So if you're, if you're not even knowledgeable about, okay, I'm using this card for rebuilding purposes. I mean, like if you needed it, like some, some cards just come in the clutch, you know what I mean? And this was that one for me during that time period. But now me knowing other options, me knowing, you know, the importance, me knowing that there are cards with, you know, lesser fees, then, you know, no, this wouldn't be the first card that I recommended to somebody. But, you know, if this was the card that you were offered and there was nothing else and you couldn't get approved for anything else and you needed to start somewhere, then you got to do what you got to do. But this just wouldn't be the card that I recommend first. Okay. So to the person who asked about this card, even if you were on the fence, like, you know, I'm not going to, I ain't going to shit talk the card because I mean, we all start from somewhere. But again, like I said in the beginning of the video, I didn't get this card for credit card, credit building purposes. This was what it was offered. And I I needed it, so I accepted it, you know? So that's that on that. But do with that information what you will. There are other videos on YouTube in regards to this particular card. Go check those out. But this is just my opinion based on my personal experience. You know, there are other cards. Okay, there are other cards. That's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say. This ain't no disc credit one, but there are other cards out there. Peace. <laughs>